Welcome to Weekly Cheats, where after a week of eating clean, it's time for something sweet. Today, we're gonna to be making a chocolate, chocolate boost bowl. It is so good, you guys. I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks and I have got it down and I'm excited to teach you this. All right, to make the bowl, all we need is a couple of items. The bowl is just gonna be solid milk chocolate. So I have Calabay's Van Leer milk chocolate. The chocolate that you use for the bowl is pretty important. You want a chocolate that will set up very firmly and rigidly so it doesn't crack on you while you're trying, when you put the mousse in uh, and let it try to set up. So I would suggest that you check what type of chocolates you have. Don't use like symphony bars or anything like that. Um, I'll put a link in the description for how to order this if you don't have it locally. Uh, but first off, we're gonna start for this. Depends on how thick you want your bowl. I always, I always recommend doing two layers of chocolate just to make sure it holds. So it's gonna be a couple handfuls. We need a balloon. I have actually washed this with soap water Use cold water when you wash this. That way uh, you don't pop the balloon on yourself. Um, then you'll need a small glass. This is just a whiskey glass that we have um, that you can set the balloon on because we're gonna put it in the freezer and it makes it so it doesn't tip. And then lastly, you're gonna rub the balloon down with some cooking oil so the chocolate will separate from the balloon when you are ready to remove it. First thing we need to do is melt the chocolate and then let it cool down just a little bit so it doesn't pop the balloon when we put it on it. The next thing we need to do, we've got our chocolate all melted now. So now we need to cover this in some cooking oil. I didn't do this the first couple of times and uh, as I was deflating the balloon, it just collapsed the bowl. So make sure you do this. Um, I give it a pretty generous coating. Yeah, looks excessive. It's not. Then you're just gonna kind of rub this in. And you don't need to go all the way down, but you want to get about three-fourths of the way, so that way you can still hold on to the balloon while you work it around in there. I like to hang on to the stem here. Um, do not fully inflate your balloon. This is like a 16-inch balloon, so I don't inflate it all the way. That way it's got some, not fully, ten it doesn't have full tension on it, um, because when you put it in somewhat warm chocolate, it can expand and you don't want it to pop all over you. Um, also, I use one of these balloons. The first couple times I tried this, I used little water balloons because like, oh cool, make little mini ones so I can make individual servings. No, you can't inflate them the way you can this and they explode all over as soon as you put the chocolate on them. I had chocolate on my contact lenses, in my eyes, everywhere. We're gonna tilt the bowl so it's kind of on the side there and then you're just gonna turn the balloon on it so you can just get a nice coating of chocolate. So as you can see, there's some spots where the chocolate is a little bit less thick. I'm gonna try and get it to fill that in a little bit. But what we'll be doing is we'll actually do a second layer on this to make sure that there are no thin spots like that. All right, now we're gonna set this on our short glass. Take the spoon that you stirred it with and you can kind of just Drag the chocolate a little bit. Spoon a little bit onto it. And if it runs down the sides and gives you little points, that's fine. It'll just look cool when we're done. Okay, so I put this in the freezer for about four, five minutes. As you can see, it's nice and solid. So now we can apply a second coat of chocolate to it. Um, it doesn't need to be all the way, but mainly around this top half here um, is where you need to have that extra layer. Every time I tried this without applying a second layer, the chocolate still sticks to the balloon and a little bit, so you have to work on it. And if the chocolate layer is not thick enough to withstand you pulling it off, you just wasted a bunch of chocolate and get it melted down and start over. So second coat. One thing that I found is a textured bowl actually looks pretty cool. So don't worry about having kind of goopy stuff on the edges. Okay, so I've got the balloon back in the freezer to just finish setting up. There's a little bit of chocolate left over. We're just gonna set this to the side. We're gonna need this so that we can make a base for the balloon. But before we get started on that, we need to get started on the mousse and get going in there. I do a cup and then I, do, I fill it up about three fourths of the way with dark chocolate. So this dark chocolate is 
Van Leer, of course, my favorite, but you could use whatever dark chocolate you want. This is what's gonna go in the mousse, so it'll become a milk chocolate mousse with the cream that we add. Four ounces, or that is roughly 115 grams. Then what I like to do with this is just fill it up, the space in, with cream. Fill in so as far as how much cream this is, that is three ounces of cream, 201 grams of total weight in this little measuring cup. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna get this melted down. It's important that after you've melted this, you let this cool before you start adding it to your cream. So that's why I like to do this while the bowl is still finishing being set up. It's not done yet. We haven't started beating the cream in the mixer yet. Um, that way, while that part process is being done, this has time to kind of cool off. Otherwise, when you, if you throw this in with the cream, uh, it'll just completely deflate it uh, and ruin it if it's too hot. For the mousse, I've seen a bunch of different ref recipes and I just kind of started riffing on it. Um, so I do a full cup of cream and then I do a half teaspoon of the Watkins vanilla. And then while it's beating, I add two large tablespoons, like actual tablespoons of powdered sugar into that mix. Mix this powdered sugar in a little bit first and then put it on high. All right, so our cream is beat. It's ready to just set aside for a moment here. Before we actually turn that into mousse, what we need to do is get a base made for our bowl. So I've reheated the chocolate here. It's not as melted as it normally could be, right? I don't want it to be super melty. Otherwise, when I set the balloon down on it, it just goes totally to the sides. And so you want it to be kind of clumpy like this. Okay, so I've got this out of the freezer. We're just gonna, I've got parchment paper on this, so. Ready to go. This goes back in the freezer. All right, for this, wire whisk time. One of the things about always making your own ice cream is I always have a giant bag of ice. So um, one thing that's really useful here is to just set your steel bowl on the ice so you can keep this nice and cold. And we're not gonna add all of the chocolate at once. We're gonna add it in about one third increments. So, and then we're just gonna whisk it in. If you put too much of this in at once, it'll just deflate the cream <laughs> and ruin it. Uh, the first couple times I did this, I did not let this cool down enough and the cream basically went to like a cottage cheese-like texture. Nasty. Ne oh. oh yeah. Yeah, baby! So it's ready to be deflated. Um, as you can see, it's a lot thinner on the top half here because we didn't get a second coat there. So there's a chance that some of this is gonna be lost when we deflate the balloon. Now we don't wanna pop it. We're just gonna pull this up and then pinch and we're just gonna take scissors and snip. Okay, so technically, you could just eat this, but I'm gonna give it a couple of jiggles to kind of flatten it out. This is best if you can let it set up for two or plus, two or more hours, at least two. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and just let it set up there. All right, so this has had a chance to chill for a while and kind of set up better for us. Um, you can top this with whatever you want. A lot of videos online will show like shaved chocolate you could throw, it'd probably be super good with raspberries in there, I bet. Um, but I like to throw some Biscoff cookies in there that I crumble up a little bit. All right, so here's our chocolate, chocolate mousse bowl. The top part of this is a little bit softer, but as you start to get down where you're able to get a double layer, it's great because you can just break it off like this and then scoop some out. Scoop it out and eat it with the bowl. No utensils needed. If you like this recipe, make sure that you subscribe and go ahead and leave a comment again with anything that you may have tried inside of it besides Biscoff cookies. Thanks for watching.